So guys, I am here to share my Walgreens couponing haul for the deals that starts on, or that started on Sunday, July the 28th, and it will end on Saturday, August the 3rd. Y'all, I am currently locked out of the house. It is an entire situation. I left my house keys on the kitchen counter, went to drop the oldest son to work, thinking that the kiddos would be home when I got back. I knew the hubby was leaving out for basketball. Long story short, the girls hopped in a vehicle with him, so I don't have no keys. And then it's raining, so an entire situation. Anyways, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here for a little while, record this video for you guys, um, or at least the introduction to the video and go over some things with Walgreens. And I guess then I'll just watch some YouTube videos because I really don't feel like driving to go get my keys, and they'll be home probably in the next 45 minutes or so. Anyways, moving on. So, Walgreens haul for this week. Walgreens has a ton of deals going on this week. Um, cannot be mad at that. Between buy this, get this back either in register rewards or buy this and get this back in points. Spend this, get points back. So many deals that you can do this week. Definitely make sure that you're combing through the ad, your digital coupons, any paper coupons that you may have from the newspaper internet printables and so on and pair up deals for products that you're actually in need of um and of course whatever's within your budget as well i ended up shopping just one of my cards doing two separate transactions rolling points um and yeah that's pretty much it wanting to spend the least amount out of pocket as possible Everything went smoothly at Walgreens. Um, all of my digital coupons came off. I had internet printable coupon that scanned with no problem. So yay for that. The only coupon I had an issue with was a Catalina coupon I received at the end of my um, first transaction for spend $10 or more and you save 20% on regular price items. So it was one of those percentage um, Catalina spend 10 or more and you save 20%. So I'm just going to chunk it up to Walgreens system, not knowing that one plus one will always equal two. And it's how your situation there. Only coupon I had an issue with, I'll get into the details in the haul, but the uh, manager just credited me back the amount I should have saved up front. So other than that, everything else went smoothly. Okay, so what else did I want to discuss? Register rewards. So I did a deal that gives you back register rewards. Register rewards is a little Catalina that, um, or there is, it comes from the Catalina machine. It's a machine that sits on the Walgreens counter next to the register, and it spits out Catalinas, which are coupons. Some are based on whatever you purchase, you will get a Catalina back for that. Some are just random where it's like, buy this product, save this amount off of it. Some are the percentage coupons that we have been seeing lately. Spend 10 or more on regular price items, save 10%, 20%, etc. These um, coupons if it's not a promotion as advertised in the ad, they're just random and they print when they print. If it's advertised in the ad, then it's supposed to print for you. What I always do before I do any Catalina deals is I ask my cashier whether or not that machine has been working because sometimes we will run into the um, situation where the Catalina machine isn't working at the store for whatever reason, no matter what you're buying, no matter what account you're using, a very active account or a not so active account, the machine itself is just not working. Keep in mind that more times than not, the um, Walgreens cashiers are not resetting that machine and sometimes that can be an issue because it is ran by a totally different company, not Walgreens. It's ran by the Catalina company. Um, I believe I still have the Catalina um, phone number. If I don't, it's on a, it'll be on the coupon. Anyways, I'll leave the number for the Catalina company in the event that your Catalina does not print. You can always call them, let them know you did the promotion where you did it at. They'll ask for a copy of the receipt, and then they will issue you a Catalina um, via the mail, etc., or coupons or something of that nature. And I want to say on the actual Catalinas that print out, the number should be on there. If not, you can always Google it as well. Catalina company, phone number, what have you. Um, okay, so that's that. Now, with a Catalina deal, with a register reward deal, Catalina Rich Reward, there was an interchangeable name. Let's just put it that way, but it's a register reward. 
So it's a coupon that is for a specific dollar amount that you can turn around and use on um, another transaction. Keep in mind that you do not want to use your Catalina on the same promotion. If you do, you will not get another one back. 99% of the time, register rewards do not roll. Example being, this week at Walgreens, we have a deal on Crest Toupees. When you buy three, you get a $3, no, when you buy three, you get a $7 register reward. If you wanted to pick up three more toupees, you definitely can do so, whether it's on the same account or a different account. However, that first register reward you got, you do not want to use that to pay for your second set of toupees. If you do, you will not get the register reward back. Now, if you are new to this whole world of couponing or new to Walgreens and register rewards, Catalinas, etc., just a note, you may see it on social media here and there where Catalinas are rolling, meaning the one that someone got from doing one purchase on one particular product, they turn around and purchase the same product, did the Catal used the Catalina from the first transaction, and then got another Catalina. It's very odd that we get glitches like that. Every now and then we do. It works sometimes. It does not work the other time. So again, just rule of thumb, you do not want to use your Catalina Register Reward on the same exact promotion. I hope I didn't confuse anybody. Walgreens is definitely one of those stores that has a lot of little quirky things you have to remember in order to be successful with couponing there. And that is true at any store that you're couponing at, but Walgreens is definitely top of the list, like for show for show, because they got all the issues over there. But it's a beautiful place to coupon because you could definitely get some deals, stock up on some things, and so on. So anyways, with all that being said, if you ever have comments, um, ever have questions about anything I discuss, leave them in the comments below. I don't mind answering. It is a lot to take in when you're just starting to coupon and every store has their own level of quirkiness. Those little things that you just got to know um, in order for your transactions to go well. So it's always going to be trial and error and it's going to be a matter of constantly couponing at that set at any store for you to really get the ropes down and know the ins and outs of it and so on and so forth and even as someone who has been couponing for a very long time i still make mistakes so it happens don't you know newbies don't get discouraged or anything like that it happens just ask questions that's the best way that you can figure things out outside of googling of course if it's a question that you can google please google don't wait on someone to respond on a social media post google the question um if you can and find the answer that way so all that being said um i'm going to sit here get caught up on youtube videos get caught up in any comments that i may have and then wait for my family to get home so i can get in the house and then from there i will record my haul video for you guys so again just a couple little house maintenance things there did a deal with Rich Rewards. Don't use that same Rich Reward to purchase the same deal. Otherwise, you won't get the Rich Reward back. With Rich Reward deals, you can use points to pay for those deals um, and get your Rich Rewards back. So, All right. So that. starting off with the Crest deal. So again, select Crest 2 paces on sale this week for $2.99 on promotion for buy three and you get a $7 register reward. Make sure you're picking up the correct product as again, it is on select Crest toothpaste. Now, depending on the coupons you have available in your app will determine how this deal breaks down for you. So there were several different coupons available. Always remember with digital coupons, no matter what store you're shopping at, the lower amount will always deduct first. So I had on this account a $2 off 3D white crest toothpaste. It was Pacific 40 3D white. So I picked up one of those because I knew that $2 digital coupon would apply. Then I had a digital coupon for $4 off any two crest toothpaste. So I picked these two up here because I knew that that coupon would apply. Now some people had a eight off of four and I believe this Sunday we had a dollar off one that um, popped up on the app as well. So if you clip the dollar off one, that is your lower value coupon. It will automatically come off before any other coupon. So let's just say, for example, you clip the dollar off one and you also had the four off two. 
and then you also had the two of uh, 3D white and then you also had the eight or the four. Your two for 3D white will come off because you're picking up one of the 3D white but then your dollar on one would come off because it will apply first being that it is the lower value coupon and then your four off two and your eight on four will still be on your card. I hope that made sense. So again, no matter where you're shopping at with digital coupons, the lower value always come off first. So I had the $2 off 3D white Crest toupees and I had a four off two that applied to these two here. Picked up three. Here's the register reward I got back, $7, and it tells me that I got it compliments of P&G. These are Procter & Gamble products. P&G stands for Procter & Gamble, and that is that. So, $7 register reward. So, remember, if you want to pick up three more, you would not want to use your register reward here because if you did, you will not earn another register reward back. However, if you are just in need of these products and so you want to go ahead and pick it up, you could use your $7 risk reward to pay for it. Just note that you're forfeiting this and you will not get another one back using it on the same promotion. All right, so let's look at the math on how that breaks down. So my Crest, 8 dollars for three, four off two manufacturing coupon on the app, two off one on the app. $2.97, getting back a $7 rush reward makes them free plus a $4.03 money maker. So I'm getting back more than what I paid for the product. All right, moving on. The Colgate this week select toothpaste is on sale for $3.99 on promotion for buy two and you get 5,000 points. This is a buy deal so you can use points to pay and get your points back. We have a dollar manufacturing coupon on the Walgreens app. We also had dollar off one coupons available to print from coupons.com. Now we also have 50 cent insert coupons from the week before, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, I believe. Always check coupontime.com to locate which insert a coupon would have come from. So if you were not able to print the 50 cent, um, not 50 cent, the dollar off one, and you want to go ahead and pick up two to complete the promotion to get the 5,000 points back, then you can use one of the insert coupons for 50 cent off one and then one of your app coupons, well, the only app coupon you would have for a dollar off one. So again, Colgate is buy two, get 5,000 points on sale for $3.99. You can use points to pay and get your points back. So I picked up two, price point $7.98 using two $1 off coupons, one in the app, one was printable, $5.98. Getting back 5,000 points makes them 49 cents each. This is definitely one of those deals like it was last week with the Irish Spring and Soft Soap to go ahead and roll points and earn points back. Just keeping your points going and building up points at the same time because oral care at Walgreens do count towards um, beauty if I'm not mistaken. If I am, somebody correct me down below. All right, next deal is on the tie. This was a unadvertised deal. It was not in my ad. If it was in your ad, definitely let me know, but it was not in my ad. They're on sale for $4.99 each or promotion for buy two, and you get 4,000 points back. They were tagged at my store, but not in my ad. We have $2 off one for the liquid and $2 off one for the pods in the app as well as in the PNG for August if your PNG did in fact have the two dollar um, tie coupons. Now there is you can print coupons from I think it's called uh it's png.com I think they're now brandsaver.com but I think if you google png.com you get the same website. Anyways you can print coupons from there. I have never did did so I'm not big on printing coupons in the first place so anyways, um, I've never printed from there, but I know that you can print from there. The only thing is, is that those coupons expire the same day you print them. So don't print them unless you know for sure that you're going to head out and use them. So again, $2 off each makes them $2.99. The promotion is when you buy two, you get 4,000 points back. And it is a buy deal, so you can use points to pay. So here's a breakdown on that. $9.98 for two using $2 off coupons from the app makes it $5.98. Getting back 4,000 in points makes them $0.99 cent each. So not too shabby there. Now, if you wanted to, 
You can do the Crest deal first. Use your points to pay for that. You can pick up your Colgate and your Tide. You have the $7 register reward. You can use this register reward to pay for these items here. You will still get your points back on those items. And if you have a balance left over, you can use the, um, the rest and points to pay for it as well. One thing to note though, because the register reward is considered a coupon, the way Walgreens system works is it is a coupon per item. So you would need to get a filler item in order to use this $7 register reward on the four products here. And that's because each product has a coupon of its own. Of its own. So this is a perfect time to go ahead and pick up some miscellaneous school supplies. Um, they always have their Arizona teas on sale too for a dollar. You can put two teas with this and then your register reward would count towards one of those products. So again, one of those little iffy, tricky things with Walgreens system, the register reward is considered a coupon and their system will recognize a coupon per item. So each coupon that you use must have an item attached to it. Hope that makes sense. So again, you could use this to pay for the Colgate and the Tide. You just need what's called a filler item. And again, you can pick up anything that you need to pick up, want to pick up. Um, the typical thing that we do as coupon is pick up the least expensive item. That way we're not paying, um, you know, too much out of pocket if we have a out of pocket expense. All right, moving on. Again, guys, if you're new, ask comments down below. I don't mind helping everyone here in the community that are that's familiar with Walgreens and knows the ins and the outs. They don't mind answering comments, um, questions as well in the comments. All right, Dixie this week, the plates and the bows are on sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. These are $4.19 in my store. I personally like to wait until these are buy one, get one free. It is a better sale, of course. However, I'm out of bows as of this morning and low on plates. So went ahead and took advantage of the deals. Now, typically when we get them, buy one, get one 50% off. We'll get a week, like next week, there will be no deal on them. And then the following week, we'll probably get a buy one, get one free. It's kind of how they cycle out sometimes. So whenever they're buy one, get one free, it's when I like to go ahead and roll those points and stock up on those for sure. All right, so again, buy one, get one free. $4.19 for one and then $2.09 for the other. There will be $6.28 using the dollar um, coupon from the app. It's a dollar off two, makes it $5.28. No points or anything coming back for that. Now, for everything that you see here, my total after coupons were applied was $23.21. I had a coupon on the app for $2 off a $15 purchase. That brought me down to $21.21. .21. I wrote in 20,000 points which is $20, paying $1.21 out of pocket, getting back a total of $16 in store money. Again, seven for the rest of reward, five on the Colgate, and then four on the um, Tide. So I paid $1.21 cash out of my pocket. That's what I invested before tax, of course, and I got back $16 in store money. So not too shabby there. Now again, after I did this transaction, Along with my receipt, I received that Catalina for save 20% off a $10 or more purchase on regular price items. So I decided to go ahead and treat myself to some paper towels. Now, this is the thing with those percentage coupons, whether it's a Catalina or in the app, they will count after Walgreens store coupons. So again, in the Walgreens booklet, we have a coupon for a dollar twenty-five off Scott paper towel or toilet paper. That dollar twenty-five, you would need to scan it one time, and it will apply to all the products that you are purchasing. So, there are five dollars regular price. They are not on sale. Four times five is twenty dollars. Subtracting the dollar twenty-five four times gives me five dollars. So my new total would be. $15 due for the paper towels. So the 20% should have applied to the $15, which would be $3 coming off, leaving me then with a total of $12. Using my insert coupons, I had 50 cents off each one, so that's $2 there. That would have brought me down all the way to $10. 
My plan was to use 10,000 points, which is $10, to pay for it, giving me a zero out-of-pocket expense. However, that percentage coupon just would not apply for whatever reason. It kept saying on the register that the basket, like the amount in the transaction um, was not enough to meet the spend amount of that coupon, which is invalid. Before, again, $20 for everything, subtracting the store coupon is 15. So I spend more than 10, so my percentage off coupon should have applied to the $15, but it was not doing so. What the cashier did first, which was my manager who checked me out, is we rung up everything, we scanned the percentage coupon first, and then the Walgreens booklet coupon. I knew that wasn't gonna work because again, we want to count where we want to take off the total for the Walgreens coupons. So when that didn't work, we voided out the transaction and we did it in reverse. Rung up everything, scanned the Walgreens booklet first, the $5 deduct off, and then scanned the percentage coupon, still the same issue. Long story short, what my manager decided to do was just, I went through with the transaction, paid it out of pocket, and then he just gave me the 3,000 points, which would have been the $3 I should have saved. I hope that's not too confusing. Let me show you guys all that on paper and hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so here's how I wrote it out in the store. That was my quick chicken scratch map. $20 for the paper towels. Again, they're $5 each. I picked up four. Four times five is 20. Minus $1.25 off of each pack. That's $5. Brings me down to $15. 15 times the 20% is $3. So 15 minus three is 12. I use 50 cent off each one. Manufactured coupons, that's a total of $2. Brings me down to 10. Using 10,000 points, which is $10, would leave me at a zero out of pocket. That is not how it happened. That coupon would not work for whatever reason. So instead, my subtotal was $13. My tax was $1.07. I wrote $10 in points, which is 10,000 points, $10, and I paid $4.07 out of my pocket for my paper towels, and then the manager just gave me back what I should have got in savings, which was $3, 3,000 points. So there you have that. Hope that made sense. So in total, I spent $4.21 cash out of my pocket before tax for everything that you see here on the table. And I got back a total of $19 in store money. So I invested $4.21. The store gave me back $19 that I can now use to purchase additional products, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm not too upset with this haul. Definitely happy to be able to get my paper products, including my bows and my plates, because we were completely out of bows as this morning. So not too shabby there. As always, again, guys, if you have questions about anything I discuss, leave it in the comments. I cannot tell you enough, newbies. I am here as a resource for you. I've been couponing for quite some time. I don't know everything, but what I do know, I am here to share with you all so that we all can take advantage of the savings. We should not be spending so much money out of pocket every week at these stores. We should definitely not be paying full retail value for anything. When we have stores like Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, their programs, and we're able to use store money to purchase the things we actually need, so on and so forth. So, that being said, thanks so much for watching. Definitely be sure that you like the video, share it, comment down below with anything that you got at Walgreens this week, how your deals went, or anything that you're planning on getting, and definitely subscribe if you have not done so already. And I will talk to you the next one. Until then, happy couponing!